Hello YouTube fam, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Tina and I make videos on lifestyle, home, and DIY projects every single week. A lot of you guys requested to do a thrift flip video, so that's exactly what we're doing today. I haven't been to the thrift store in so long. The first time that I went in LA, I didn't have much luck. I think I bought like one item, but this time I actually found some decent pieces, so I wanted to show you guys what we're working with. For this first item, I found this really beautiful vase. I love the shape of it, but I don't exactly love the color. I think the design is okay, but I think I'm gonna change it up a little bit. So here it is up close. I got it for four bucks, which I think is a great price, especially for this size of a vase. The shape is super trendy right now. It just needs a little bit of a color upgrade. I don't know if I will keep this design because it's a little bit more raised, but we'll see what we can do with it. So next up, I found these marble napkin rings, and these are really pretty. The set of four was only three bucks there. So here's a little close-up of it. It is from Williams and Sonoma, or is it just Williams Sonoma? William Sonoma. <laughs> and it says that it was made in Italy, so these are great quality. So I'm still trying to figure out what to do for this. I think I might save this for another video, but if you guys have any ideas on what I can make with these, definitely let me know in the comments below. This next piece I'm gonna leave as is, but I wanted to share with you guys anyways because I'm gonna use it in my balcony probably. I think this is a plant stand. You could put two pots in here, and this was only $2, which is really great because that is way cheaper than DIYing it yourself. Overall, I like the wood finish on these and I think I just need to find some pots and then just put some plants in and I think it should be good to go. So this last item that I got, I'm not sure exactly what it's supposed to be. I mean, it is kind of obvious, but it's kind of not, but it is this shelf picture frame thing. So it has two extra shelves right here and it goes into these little slots right here but it has these picture frames on it and one is of a cat and then one is of this really bizarre photo of like some feet and a wine glass. I don't understand what that is for. It says, remember, no one like you will ever happen again. And I also want to mention that this was only eight bucks. That is a pretty good deal. I think that this is made out of real wood. So we shall see what happens with it. All right, so I hope that you guys enjoyed that little thrift haul. I'm just gonna clean everything up and then jump right into the projects. Hello from voiceover Tina. So after cleaning up this vase, I'm just gonna sand it down and I used an 80 grit sandpaper to rough up the surface of the vase. Once that was done, I went ahead and wiped everything down with a damp cloth to get rid of the dust. Now I'm mixing up an almond color and I'm using some white with a little drop of raw sienna acrylic paint. I just wanted a neutral base for this project so this color was perfect. Then I decided to add in a small amount of baking soda and I actually wasn't trying to do a full on baking soda paint hack here. I usually add a lot of it so that it gets super thick but I just wanted my paint to be a little bit more opaque especially since I'm going over this purple color so adding a little bit in did just the trick. And I ended up doing two coats and touched up where it needed it. And you guys, I actually did this whole DIY project sitting outside that day. It was so nice out and I feel lucky to skip the cold Chicago winter this year. And I apologize in advance to everyone watching this who has to endure a cold winter. But I just had to share because I set everything up like how I usually did inside. And it was just so much more enjoyable being outside and DIYing. After everything was dry, I wanted to give the vase a little bit of speckling. So I'm using this stone spray paint by Rust-Oleum. And this is in the color Sienna, which has hints of black, beige, and brown. So basically what I did was spray it in small spritz and I held it pretty far away from the vase. With this technique, I wasn't trying to spray the vase like it shows on the cap. I really just wanted it to be a speckle so you don't need a lot of it. And I found this really easy to do because the can does all the work for you. I think the spray paint looks so good and I'm really excited to use this for other projects. It's so fun and I love the look. This next part is optional, but after waiting a few hours, I went ahead and I gave the vase a clear matte top coat just for some added durability. And check out this before and after. I love how this vase came out. It was super simple to do and just needed a little color upgrade. It's so perfect to style on my shelves and the shape and the style of this vase is just so trendy right now. And I'm really glad that I was able to achieve this look with an item from the thrift store. So it's time to give this baby an upgrade and I started by sanding the entire piece. I got into all the nooks and crannies and at this point I actually was not sure if I was going to stain or paint this. So I asked you guys on my Instagram story and there were almost a thousand votes and the final vote was 51% said to stain it and 49% said to paint it and since it was so close I just couldn't decide and had to think it over one more time. 
Also, side note, I tried to take the hardware off, but they were all glued on, so I just made sure to tape it to protect everything. Alright, so I finally decided and I wanted to give it a modern look by spray painting it black, and for this I'm using a matte black spray paint from Rust-Oleum. I sprayed each side two coats and I let it dry overnight before flipping it on to finish the spray painting. And whenever you're spray painting, make sure that you have plenty of ventilation or do it outside and remember to cover your surfaces. After the first side dried overnight, I just flipped it over and I also removed these sawtooth hangers on the back and I gave it another two coats of spray paint. So while the second coat dried, I went ahead and created the back for the shelf and I used extra pieces of this melamine material that I had left over. I measured it out and I used my X-Acto knife to cut on the line. And remember to always tuck your fingers in when you're using a sharp blade like this one and always use it with caution. I actually got this piece of melamine from my furniture packaging. I thought the material was just so sturdy that I held onto it instead of trashing it. I knew it would come in handy one day and it was just perfect for this project. After cutting through the board about halfway, you could just go ahead and fold it and it should snap nicely. And since this wasn't wide enough to cover the entire back, I ended up creating two of these pieces. Then I just took some matte black acrylic paint and I gave it two coats to match the rest of the shelf. While that dried, I'm gonna work on the frame pieces and I'm adding some cane webbing to them. I finally visited the cane and basket supply store here in LA and I grabbed this small woven sheet. I've seen this store so many times on Drew Scott, AKA Lone Fox and Exo McKenna's channel. And I'm so glad that I got to shop there myself. It was so exciting to me because there's nothing like this in Chicago. And I'm just happy that I have a local source for some webbing or any other basket materials for future projects. So I took the webbing and I cut it down to size with my scissors and I left a little bit extra on the sides. Then I'm using Gorilla Hot Glue to adhere it right on top of the glass and you can also glue it underneath the glass as well. It just depends on the look that you're going for. Once that was dry, I took my scissors just to cut off all the edges. I also tried to use my X-Acto knife to cut it, but I found that scissors were just way easier to cut with. Then I added some glue to each corner of the frame and I popped the glass right in. Now it's time to assemble everything together so I just slid in these small shelves first and then I added hot glue to the back of the shelves and this is going to adhere our backboard. I wish I had some finishing nails for this part but I just used what I had at home to make it work and I think it turned out fine. And now this flip is done and as a reminder, here's how the thrifted item looked before. And here it is after, what a difference you can make with just some paint. The combination of the black and cane gives off a very modern feel. And since I added on a back, you could also lay it flat to use as an organizer. This is a super versatile piece and I'm just obsessed with the overall vibe. By making some simple upgrades, we were able to create something that looks brand new and I'm so happy with how it came out. I'm so happy with how those two projects came out. Let me know in the comments what you guys think and if this sparked any inspo for you, especially when it comes to things at the thrift store. There are so many little hidden gems and I'm really happy with everything that I found and I can't wait to go back to make even more things. I'm so happy with how that wood organizer came together. It is so versatile and I think I'm actually gonna put it into the entryway just because it will house so many things and just keep things nice and organized. I love it so much and I'm so happy that I got it. And I'm definitely planning on keeping that postcard with the weird feet and wine picture on it. I think it's just so precious. I'm probably gonna put it into a scrapbook or a journal or something just so I could read back on it and just have a good laugh because it is so precious. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up down below and subscribe for new videos every single week. I've been posting pretty consistently on Sundays and Thursdays and I'm hoping to keep that up for the rest of this year. So fingers crossed. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram if you haven't already. I post on there every single day and it's just been so much fun connecting with you guys over there. So feel free to DM me, ask me any questions or share any project ideas that you guys have. You guys always send me the best suggestions and I always appreciate them, so keep them coming. So that's it for today's video. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Stay inspired and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!